I remember when I saw Muslim prayer for the first time. It was a very strange experience. I haven't seen it before, so it felt very awkward to me. And then when I found out that they do it five times a day, I was even more surprised. And so when I became a Muslim and I then found out that I have to learn it in Arabic, I thought I would never be able to do that. It seemed so difficult and so complicated. And I know that a lot of reverts find it the same way. And I now learned it, alhamdulillah, and I'll be able to share my experience of how I learned it, so maybe it's gonna help you too. When I started praying, I used to pray with my husband, so he would read it out loud, and I would try to sort of mimic the sounds and the words, but I also started praying at work while I didn't know how to pray, so I had to find solution of how I can do it. And my solution was in two sort of steps. So one, I recorded my husband uh, while he was praying and reading it out loud. So I filmed him the way that I could see all the movements that he does and I could clearly hear what he says as well. So what I would do when he wasn't at home or I wanted to pray at work, I would actually put the phone right near the pray mat, sort of at the top por portion of it, where I could actually glance and see the movements that were needed to be done before I even knew that properly. And I would I would hear it and I would sort of say the words. And when I was at work, I would use the earphones, I would put the earphones in. And then I did this. Uh, another step was I took um, a book, a Prayer and Namaz it's called, from my son. He was going to Madrasa and he was learning prayer as well. So I used the book and it's described in very sort of in very much detail of what you need to do, how you need to do it, of what you need to say, transliteration, uh, Arabic, in English. So that was very useful for me. And I would just take small portions um, of each prayer, sort of each part, and I would write it down and I would take those papers and place it on the fridge. And so anytime I would go to the fridge, before I even opened the door, I would try to read it. And also I took photos of the pages with the prayer steps on and I had it on my phone. So anytime um, I was doing something, I was trying to open it so I can learn. I even did that so I would put it as my screensaver a photo with a, with a bit that I was learning. And then anytime I t take my phone, I would actually see the words. So that's that I think is very handy because uh, we use our phones so many times in a day that if you take, the, every time you take your phone, you read it, it's gonna be so, so much easier to learn that. So I think you need to take your time and take it easy. I've heard some sisters say that they learn praying in like two days and that's absolutely fantastic and wonderful, but it definitely didn't, didn't take me two days to actually learn everything. So do not pressure yourself and just take step by step. And then any part you learn, you try to repeat it to yourself. And you will see, it's, it's, then once you learn like that, it's not going to look uh, as scary. And once you actually also feel confident that you can pray uh, on on your own with a recording maybe of your family member or of your friend or anyone else that can actually pray and you can record them so you can use it and then you learn step by step. I have this very good book um, that I used and I have no way to put, put it in here. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take uh, photos of each page and I'm gonna put it on my Instagram page. I'm gonna do a separate post. So if you wanted to see those those uh, those pages and maybe use it for yourself, you can go to my Instagram and it's the same username, it's Ruta Fridi. And hopefully it's gonna help you then. If you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. And also I would love to know how you are learning and what tips or tricks you are using so maybe others can benefit from that too. Assalamu alaikum.